Hi everyone, this is Indirect Sort Code Forces uh, round due to problem and the problem is 1750A. So let's directly straight away jump to this problem. So uh, first they told that we have a permutation of uh, 1 to n numbers. Okay. And each number will come only exactly once. Just uh, I'm just highlighting the points that are there. And they told that you can perform these two operations any number of times, unlimited times you can perform. Unlimited. So what are those two operations? You have three indices i, j, k. You can pick any of them in the format one less than or equal to i less than j less than k. You can pick any three indices. Then what you can do is if ai is greater than ak, that means the value at that index is greater than the third index, then you can replace the first value that is ai with ai plus aj okay and now if the value if this condition fails that is if ai is less than ak we have to do aj comma ak you have to swap these two values now you can say that if a is greater than ak if this does not satisfy it should be a less than or equal to ak right why it's less than ak you have to see that I mentioned exactly once permutation from one to n exactly once so ai equal to ak will never happen so that's why we are getting this condition now what is our objective objective is since we are getting a permutation from one to n can we make the array in non-decreasing format so can you make it in non-decreasing format so again what is the meaning of non-decreasing an array can be either increasing or equal in our case equal can't come since exactly once an array should be in the ascending order so by following this operation we have to report that can we make the array in ascending order that's all so for example they have given an example like one two three do we need to perform any of these operations definitely not because why uh, it's already in the increasing order so we say that yes now let's say one three two Let's randomly say that this is i, this is j, and this is k. According to the constraints, ai is greater than ak. So let me zoom in. ai is greater than ak? No, ai is less than ak. Yes. So 1 is less than 2. aj, ak, swap it. 3 and 2, you swap. So it will be 1, 2, 3. This also, it's not possible. Okay. Now, before proceeding to any, any problem, we understood that before proceeding anything, we understood that okay this is the problem and they just gave some weird and uh, very uh, big explanations here let's not see this okay let's see some pattern within the problem okay one two three is there it's increasing one three two is there five three seven six two one it is no these are all no but one two six seven four three five yes okay now let's figure out one thing they told that uh, first thing is it should be a permutation of one to n and every number will come exactly once here ai is greater than ak if a number is greater than ak let's say 4 3 2 1 let's say i i took j i took k i took we are doing ai equal to ai plus aj if uh, 4 is greater than 2 we do 4 plus 3 it seems 7 3 2 1 so just think using this method will there be any chance that so just thinking blindly is there any chance that can i make this array in ascending order definitely not because since we are adding these values i value keeps on incrementing okay so in the test case if you see in the problem they have mentioned it but this is all our assumptions we did not consider anything so i and j we saw and uh, seven is increasing so it is in the decreasing order so now let's assume that this is totally a false condition we are not checking this at all now so if this is a false condition can i say that one should be on the starting position because always if you consider any condition the first number will be keeping on incrementing you no know, four plus three seven if you want seven plus two nine we keep on incrementing. but one should be on the left side to make it in the incrementing format or if it is like nine it should be on the 10 11 12 there is no supporting factor to it so let's say one should be on the starting position rest of us anything can come okay hope you understood this 
Now, if you see here, they told 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2, 1, 2, 6. 1 is in the starting position, it's yes, and everything else is no since 1 is not there. But we can't directly say that, uh, okay, fix 1 here and answer will be yes. We can't do that. We just said that this is a baseless condition. We are not considering the all, but this condition is still valid. Now, uh, let's say a random example where uh, uh, this condition is taken. So we have fixed one here. So if one is not there, we cannot. We can directly say that. Suppose it starts with five or anything other than one, we can directly say that the answer is no. It's not possible since you can't decrement the value. Okay, but if one is there. Can I say that the answer will be always be yes? Can we make it always incrementing? It is doubtful. We are just checking it. So let's say this is i, this is j, and this is k. We are taking it randomly. a is less than a k. a is less than a k. Yes. a j a k you swap. 3 and 4 you swap. So 1, 3, 4, 2. Okay. Now again, i you take here, j you take here, and uh, k you take here. Now a i is less than a k. Correct. If a is less than a k, you swap this again. That is 1, 2, 4, 3. Again, I simply take a j k. See, these are all like random observations. Now, a is less than a k, right? 1 less than 3. a j k, you swap. 1, 1. This is 1, 2, j k swap, 3, 4. So, did you observe something here? Whatever be the combination of uh, numbers with the support of one we can just make it in ascending order that's the magic of it and if you take any combination we are seeing that if a number is greater we can just simply swap it and push that bigger number to right side how did we derive it again we uh, assumed that uh, this first condition will not only do something to the array it just keeps incrementing the array the incrementing will do decreasing format it won't help in increasing the format it won't help in non-decreasing term okay so we eliminated this condition since we eliminated this condition any number cannot start with a number any array cannot start with a number other than one two three anything comes there will be definitely be a one since permutation is there we can't pull it here or we can't decrement the values so we can cancel this so two three any number comes the answer is no now uh, we have fixed one and proved that any combination, any permutation that comes after one using the second condition, we will be able to make it the array as increasing order. So what is the solution to this? If you see, you can also verify it here. Phi everything is there, one is there, one also we verified it. So one followed by any permutation is there. So what is the solution to this? The solution is very easy. That is if array of zero equal to equal to one, the answer is yes else you simply print no the answer only this much you can just do it by hunch but we try to derive it and this is how we derive the answer and that's it uh, it's a very simple problem but there is a trick here that's all and uh, one more thing is if it's an a problem right so it won't be like too hard or too uh, difficult to implement or something so you have to find the catch if you have that in mind that will be easier so thank you